Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're talking about the new Lisa Eldridge collection. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. For those of you who are new to my channel, I'm a makeup artist as well as esthetician, and I now offer this one-on-one -on -one beauty consulting service. So this is where you and I sit down and talk over video chat about any and all beauty concerns you might have, whether you are building a professional makeup kit or if you have questions about your existing skincare routine, it's really up to you what you want to talk about. So if you wanna make an appointment with me, please click the link in the description box down below. So if you are here, you are aware that there was a new launch a few weeks ago. We all placed our pre-orders and now they have been shipped. It is October 21st here in Montreal, Canada. So it took two days for my package to arrive, which is quite impeccable. I am incredibly happy with my purchase. So let's go ahead and dive into the products that I bought, some swatches, let's do some side-by-side -side comparisons of the products, etc. Now, when the launch happened for the pre-order, um, I wasn't able to watch the actual Lisa Eldridge video where she swatched all the lip, lip products in person. I think I had an appointment earlier that morning. So I sort of just went on the website when everything was available for pre-sale and I went into like a panic mode and I really didn't know what to get. I ended up only getting lip glosses because I own many different Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. I will include a video down below where I swatched every single lipstick that I own from Lisa Eldridge and so for me I was just really interested in her newer items you know new formulas new textures that sort of thing so I ended up getting only lip glosses and I did the create your own lip kit thing you know you can get three products and then you can choose your own makeup pouch I knew from the get-go that I wanted this beautiful emerald green velvet pouch with the gold. I just think it's such a beautiful, stunning combination. So I went with this one here. And then the packaging that the lip glosses came in is literally the exact same as the lipsticks. You have the beautiful white and gold. It's so classic and chic. So Lisa Eldridge, of course. And then in my package, I also got this little packet here. So these are stickers with a velvet finish. It reminds me of those stickers we used to get in grade school. Remember, sometimes we would get stickers that were fuzzy, sometimes they were scented. You would scratch and sniff. I don't know why, but something about this reminds me of that, and it brings me so much joy. These are the most perfect pouts. They look so beautiful. And I kind of wish I had this shade up here, like such a beautiful dark berry. It looks perfect for fall. Anyway, these are super cute and super adorable. But when I first opened my package, I thought that these were lipstick samples. Like I thought this was a swatch or something of lipstick and I got so excited. And then I realized these are like velvet felt stickers. But on the off chance that Miss Lisa Eldridge is watching this herself, hi, how you doing? Thanks for watching. Um, I would love in the future if you gave out little bubble packs of some of your lip colors. It would just be nice to test out different colors, you know, as you go. Just a suggestion. So the colors of the lip glosses that I got are Muse. Blush. and go lightly. Now I own the lipsticks Muse and go lightly. So I will go ahead and swatch these side by side with the lipsticks. And I'll also go ahead and wear the lipsticks with the lip glosses over top as well just to compare. Okay, let's go ahead and read off the description of these glosses. So for Muse, it says, an immaculate smoky rosewood, the classic neutral pink brown shade that every woman should have in her collection. If this were a perfume, the top note would be rose. 
the heart notes would be cedar and saffron and the base notes would be woods and musks now i'm curious does this have a scent absolutely not there is zero fragrance there's absolutely no scent to this whatsoever this clever multitasking formulation functions as both a high pigment gloss and indulgent treatment cushioning the lips with emollient hydrators and leaving them as soft as silk and this is supposed to have a medium level of pigmentation all right let's try the muse lip gloss So this gloss is really lovely. I think you can definitely sheer it out for just like a hint of color, or you can apply a thicker coat, a second coat if you will, just to get a more opaque color payoff. The applicator wand for this gloss is really nice. It's not too thin, it's not too thick. It's a little bit pointed, so you can sort of get all the corners of the mouth. I think this looks pretty true to color in the tube right here. I think if we compare a swatch side by side of Velvet Muse, the lipstick with the lip gloss, the lip gloss is a perfect gloss version of this color here. It's really spot on. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a Velvet Muse, the lipstick with the gloss over top. So this is the Velvet Muse. Let's go in with a bit of gloss. So I think the lipstick and lip gloss combination sort of just makes it a bit more deep, a bit more saturated. It definitely changes the look. It's really pretty. I'm just used to seeing the velvet lipsticks as this like matte 90s supermodel pout, but this is really pretty. And I think it would be also a bit more comfortable to wear if you can add a bit of gloss over top because I know that a matte lipstick is not for everyone. It's definitely long wearing, but it can be a bit drying. So adding a bit of gloss over top is always a good idea. All right, let's move on to the blush gloss. This is an archetypal cool toned pink berry inspired by the flush painterly hues of Rococo artists such as Watteau, Fragonard, and Boucher. It doesn't get much prettier or more intensely feminine than this. It varies from a natural lip if applied as lightly or to a full flushed pout. And this one also multitasks as a high pigment gloss or a very indulgent treatment to hydrate your lips. This also is supposed to be a medium level of pigmentation. So this is just one swipe applied very sheerly. Let's go in with a second dip to make it more intense. So this is blush here. It's exactly true to color from the tube. It's a little bit darker than I expected, but I did go in with a few coats, which is why it's a bit more intense. I like this both as a sheer color and just as a more intense pout. So this was described as a cool toned pink berry. I think that's very accurate. I would put this in the your lips, but much better category. So last but not least, we have Go Lightly, which is this intensely pretty pink and it is described as insanely pretty. It's an insanely pretty salmon pink coral shade inspired by one of the shades in Lisa's vintage collection. Redolent of the early 1960s Hollywood, I'm thinking like Audrey Hepburn. Um, the addition of the subtle modern pink and golden pearls makes this shade truly wearable and flattering for all. And again, it's multifunctional. You can use it as a gloss or as a lip treatment. And this is a medium to light pigment coverage. Let's go in with Go Lightly. I'm going to go in quite sheer at first. So this is one application really sheared out. It's just like a hint of color, but let's go in and add a bit more.
This one is the more sheer of the three lip glosses that I got. It says so in the description. It really is that just perfect pinky coral salmon. I really love this shade. I got it to match the lipstick, which I will go ahead and swatch in a second. But I think this is just really pretty. It's so feminine, it's so girly. I think this is a beautiful shade for the summer months. I'm very happy with this purchase here. And this is also true to color in the tube here. I don't know if you can see, but up close, you can actually see this like little golden reflection in this here. So while it is a more cool toned salmon coral, there is a little ribbon of gold in it, which makes it a bit warmer. Now let's go in with Go Lightly, the lipstick with the lip gloss over top. So the Go Lightly lipstick is not matte. It's a more of a satin finish. It's very comfortable. And I think in this case, pairing the lip gloss over top just intensifies the color and will make it a bit longer wearing because this is not a matte lipstick. It's a satin formula. So it's not as long wearing as the True Velvets. And I think just combining these together creates a really beautiful long lasting effect. So this is Go Lightly with the lipstick and gloss over top. I think it's insanely pretty. I think it's just so feminine and girly and makes me a little sad that summer has come to a close, but this is it here. All right, so for my final thoughts, I decided to reapply the Muse lip gloss because I think it's my favorite. Um, it's funny because my favorite nude lipstick is probably Fawn, but this here is just so pretty. It's like my lips, but much better. And it's just so easy. I think I picked mostly nude lipsticks because, or lip glosses, I should say. I was just feeling the mood for like easy, simple, my lips but better and then for something really fun and just inspiring for summer and nicer weather. The formula of these lip glosses is really nice. It's not too sticky. It's also not too runny. I hate when a lip gloss just kind of goes everywhere. This just stays in place and there is a bit of a staining effect. This one here is the more sheer pigmentation, but these ones here do stain your lips. Like I did have to go in with some makeup remover in between the applications. I think these are really lovely. I think these are a great addition to my Lisa Eldridge collection. I think the lip glosses match perfectly with the lipsticks. Honestly, the only issue is deciding what to buy because I think in a perfect world, we would have all bought every single item. Yeah, these are lovely. I think if you like Lisa Eldridge, if you like her lipsticks, you will definitely like these lip glosses. It's just a nice addition to what I already own and it's a little bit new, it's fun and yeah. I'm interested to try these out almost as lip treatments because it does say that you can wear them as lip treatments to hydrate your lips. Obviously, you would go in much more with a sheer application, but it's just nice to have those type of lip products that you can just sort of reapply as the day goes on without really thinking, especially with a gloss. You don't have to pay close attention with drawing your lips or any of that. You can just kind of go in and add a bit more and go on with your day. So one last thing, um, I was going to get one of the Lisa uh, sweatshirts because it looks super cozy and comfy and I love a big oversized comfy sweater for the colder months, but I really wasn't sure about the sizing. So I ended up emailing customer service and they told me that this model is wearing a medium. I was hoping they were going to tell me that she was wearing like an extra small or something and that I was hoping everything ran really big, but if she's wearing a medium, then the extra large I knew would not fit me. I took the measurements, like I actually measured one of my oversized sweaters that I have at home, and I think for me the extra large would have fit like a normal shirt, so I decided to skip the sweatshirt, which was really disappointing, so I hope in the future they add like extended sizes because for me like a sweatshirt needs to be like really big and baggy to be comfortable so yeah there's just that 
So let me know in the comments, what did you buy? What did you get? Which collections did you get? The lip kits with the lip liners and the gloss and lipstick all together. Those were really tempting, but for me, I just was tempted by the glosses mostly. And a lip liner would have been nice, but honestly, this bag is really pretty. I, I like the floral bags as well, but I don't know, the green one here and just a kit of three lip glosses was calling my name. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please make sure to like and also subscribe. Anytime you engage with my channel, whether it's a like, a comment, a subscription, YouTube sees that as engagement and will send more people my way. So it really helps me out. Okay, I think this is all I have for today. Thank you all so much for stopping by. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.